Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at the best war-based FPS games. Starting with the Sniper Elite series stands out as a leading name in WW2 stealth shooters, continuously improving with each release. Sniper Elite 5, the latest installment, refines mechanics and gameplay to new interactive levels. While offering co-op modes, the series primarily focuses on a solo player experience, with stealth mechanics shining best in single player mode. The game follows protagonist Carl Fairburn as he joins an Army Ranger battalion for Operation Overlord preparations. With satisfying kill cams, user-friendly shooting mechanics, and a strong emphasis on stealth, Sniper Elite 5 delivers an enjoyable and addictive gaming experience. Returning to its origins, Call of Duty, World War II places players in the European theater of war following Ronald Red Daniels and his squad on the Western Front, pushing back the Nazi threat through France and beyond. While the game doesn't innovate much in the genre, it delivers a solid modern WW2 shooter that will please series fans. With great visuals and responsive, fluid gameplay, its story campaign stands out as the best aspect, providing a strong sense of momentum as players progress through the war. Call of Duty, World War II marks a welcome return to the single-player FPS style that pioneered the genre. If you seek breadth and realistic details, this newcomer might be just what you're after. Released in 2021, it offers a hardcore WW2 FPS experience emphasizing teamwork over kills. Aiming to deliver the Battlefield-style WW2 experience that Battlefield's recent return to the conflict missed. With 100-player battles across 9 maps and 2 game modes, players can choose from 14 unique roles for the ultimate WW2 immersion. Each match is unique with dynamically generated capture points. Highly praised in our Hell Let Loose review, WW2 enthusiast Ian Boudreau noted, Hell Let Loose blend of FPS action and real-time tactical planning rewards communication, coordination, and genuine leadership unlike most other games. Don't miss out on this one. In 2008, squad-based combat saw a watershed moment with the releases of both Battlefield, Bad Company, and Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, much to the adulation of their respective fans. While Bad Company set a strong debut and paved the way for a better sequel, Hell's Highway remains a memorable high point for the Brothers in Arms series. Its dramatic storytelling explores themes of brotherhood, PTSD, and leadership, skillfully juxtaposed against fierce visuals and gameplay. The gunplay is complemented by finely tuned squad command mechanics that still impress today. Playing Hell's Highway gives insight into why fans eagerly await a brothers in arms sequel. Before time traveling, mind trickery, and intentionally controversial campaigns, Call of Duty once addressed the nature of warfare. Considered death from above from modern warfare, where players use airstrikes from an AC-130. With its deliberate low resolution, monochromatic filter, the sequence feels disturbingly lifelike, creating a cold, calculated atmosphere. The message? Warfare has evolved. The revolution in military affairs means combat is now distant, removed from individual accountability. Modern Warfare's campaign reflects on this new theater of war while indulging in combat with equal panache. Enlisted is a multiplayer shooter set in World War II, featuring a clever and innovative idea that could revolutionize the genre. You command an infantry squad with specialized roles, able to give orders to AI teammates and swap bodies with them at any time. Want to call down artillery? Switch to your radio operator. Interested in using a flamethrower? Take control and join the action. Enlisted allows you to always be in the thick of things, using any equipment your squad brings. EA faced the challenge of surpassing the seriousness of Battlefield 1's great war setting. Few war games have portrayed the horror of that conflict as vividly as Battlefield 1, putting players in the shoes of young men meeting their untimely demise and desperate last stands against the Imperial German Army. Battlefield 5 continues this somber tone, returning to the killing fields of World War II. Each of Battlefield 5's war stories is a single-player vignette aiming to evoke feelings of despair. With each death, your character's name, birth date, and death date remind you that this war game aims for more than mere entertainment. This isn't your typical run-and-gun shooter or the flashy, dramatic battles of Battlefield. Arma 3 is a serious simulation of modern military conflict, aiming for hyperrealism rarely found in shooters. It strips away regenerating armor, 
piles of hit points, and copious cover to emphasize the vulnerability of soldiers under fire. Arma 3 has been available for quite some time and offers numerous DLC options, including new vehicles, locations, and even a single-player scenario with aliens. If you're seeking a challenge, Arma is the perfect choice. Some war games provide a glimpse into the intensity of battle. Six Days in Fallujah offers a realistic portrayal of one of the most intense battles during the Iraq War. Specifically, it focuses on the Second Battle of Fallujah in 2004, where American and British forces fought to liberate the city from Al-Qaeda control. Players can expect a tactical FPS experience with optional online co-op. It's worth noting that this is an early access title, so the full gameplay experience is still under development. Isanzo is a thrilling FPS title from the creators of iconic historically focused games like Verdun and Tannenberg. Inspired by the Battle of the Isanzo from World War I, 1915-1918, the game provides an immersive wartime experience. The developers aim for historical accuracy, meticulously designing weapons, mechanics, and war-torn locations. Set in the Alpine region, players engage in intense battles for control over the Isanzo River Valley and the Alps. There aren't as many World War I video games on the market compared to World War II, but there are still titles to enjoy in 2021 with a great war backdrop. One such title is Tannenberg, developed by M2H, known for their World War I game Verdun. Tannenberg initially launched in 2019 and made its console debut in 2020. The game focuses on the 1914 Battle of Tannenberg, where Russia and Germany clashed in East Prussia. Squad is a tactical FPS gaining positive reception from both critics and players alike. It immerses players in team-based battles with up to 100 participants. Unlike typical shooters, Squad emphasizes realism, requiring strategic coordination among players. Alongside authentic weapons, vehicles, and environments, the game features a crucial VoIP system. This allows players to communicate effectively within their squad and with leaders using in-game voice chat. However, Squad isn't for everyone. It's a specific military simulator where gameplay can be slower paced. Success hinges on tactical planning, positioning players strategically before engaging enemies or moving into combat zones. The Sniper Ghost Warrior franchise expanded in 2021 with Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. Known for its tactical shooter gameplay with heavy stealth elements, this installment places players in the Middle East for contract missions targeting specific individuals. The game emphasizes sniper rifle usage at long distances, coupled with realistic weaponry and military gear to accomplish missions effectively. Players enjoy freedom in approach, whether executing close quarters stealth kills or maintaining distance for precise sniper shots, offering flexibility in gameplay style. Day of Infamy plunges players into the intense battlefields of World War II. The gameplay is realistic and demanding, focusing on teamwork and tactical combat. Detailed graphics meticulously recreate period-specific uniforms and environments, enhancing immersion. The difficulty is substantial, providing a challenge for seasoned players against intelligent foes. Authentic weapon and explosion sounds further intensify the experience. Multiplayer modes shine with a variety of cooperative and competitive options, supported by an active community that continually introduces new challenges and strategies. For enthusiasts of historical war games, Day of Infamy stands as a compelling choice. Warface offers players a dynamic experience in modern military action, blending fast-paced gameplay with a variety of missions and modes. The game emphasizes both cooperative and competitive play, requiring quick reflexes and strategic decision-making. Impressive graphics highlight detailed character models and vibrant environments, enhancing immersion. Difficulty levels cater to a wide range of players, from beginners to seasoned veterans, with accessible missions and challenging scenarios. Authentic sound design adds realism, featuring realistic weapon sounds and explosive effects. Players can customize their weapons and gear to suit their playstyles, enhancing personalization. Regular updates and events ensure ongoing freshness and engagement, making Warface a versatile and exciting shooter for fans of modern warfare. Postscriptum delivers a deeply immersive World War II experience, focusing on tactical gameplay and teamwork. Players must coordinate effectively to navigate the challenges of battle. Graphically, 
The game impresses with realistic environments and detailed character models, capturing the essence of the era. Difficulty is significant, requiring strategic thinking and careful planning to succeed in combat. Sound design enhances immersion with authentic audio effects, contributing to the realistic atmosphere. Multiplayer battles feature large maps and a high player count, providing authentic war scenarios. The dedicated community organizes events and historical reenactments, adding depth to the experience. For players seeking a deep and challenging wartime simulation, Postscriptum stands out as a compelling choice. Insurgency, Sandstorm offers a compelling modern combat experience, blending intense PvP battles with challenging cooperative missions. The game boasts stunning graphics with detailed environments and lifelike character animations, enhancing immersion. Its high difficulty level demands tactical thinking and precise shooting skills from players. The exceptional sound design further immerses players with realistic weapon sounds and ambient effects. Teamwork is emphasized, as coordination with your squad is crucial for success success in missions. Regular updates and a dedicated community ensure ongoing content and challenges, keeping the gameplay fresh and engaging. For enthusiasts of hardcore shooters with tactical depth, Insurgency, Sandstorm stands as a must-play title. Red Orchestra 2 Heroes of Stalingrad immerses players in the brutal Eastern Front of World War II, focusing on tactical realism and squad-based combat. The gameplay challenges players to master authentic weaponry and coordinate effectively in intense battles. Graphically, the game depicts the gritty urban warfare atmosphere with detailed environments and historically accurate uniforms. Its high difficulty level requires strategic coordination and situational awareness to succeed. The sound design further enhances immersion with realistic weapon sounds and ambient battlefield noise. Multiplayer modes offer both competitive and cooperative gameplay, providing diverse challenges and scenarios. Supported by a committed community and regular updates, Red Orchestra 2, Heroes of Stalingrad remains a top choice for fans of historically accurate and challenging FPS games. Pavlov VR delivers an intense and immersive virtual reality combat experience where players engage in fast-paced multiplayer battles. The gameplay emphasizes quick reflexes, precise aiming, and strategic thinking as you navigate interactive maps with realistic weapon handling and physics. Graphically, the VR environment enhances immersion, while sound design plays a crucial role in situational awareness and tactical decision-making with spatial audio cues. Multiplayer modes range from classic team-based matches to objective-based gameplay, promoting teamwork and diverse strategic approaches. Regular updates introduce new features and maps, ensuring the experience remains dynamic and engaging for VR enthusiasts seeking competitive FPS action. Verdun plunges players into the brutal trenches of World War I, offering a historically immersive experience. Gameplay revolves around tactical squad-based combat, emphasizing teamwork and strategy to capture and defend trench lines. Graphically, the game captures the grim atmosphere of the Western Front with detailed uniforms and realistic battlefield environments. Difficulty is high, requiring careful coordination and situational awareness amidst chaotic battles. Sound design plays a crucial role, with authentic weapon sounds and ambient effects enhancing the immersive experience. Multiplayer modes include frontline battles and squad defense, providing varied challenges. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, as that really helps a lot. If you think any game is missing or if you're planning to play any of these games, don't forget to leave a comment. Those were the top 20 best FPS games based on wars for PC. This has been another video from New Quest Play, and I'll be here waiting for you for the next quest.